he is a bit of a hero of mine uh, because for me, uh, Herbert produced the uh, first kind of definitive text, you know, computer graphics, computer art, which was perfect title because computer graphics and computer art uh, share the same history, especially in those early years. So it was almost like that. that is just the title alone was uh, right on. But then he had to do the thing that no one had done, and that was to categorize all the expanding medium, right? And so all these artists are doing different things with the computer. They're all fascinating, um, but um, he had to put those into categorize and make a story, make a narrative. And, and we could always hear his voice in that text. And of course, the 1971 uh, title, and then it was, he redid it for 85. So. For me, he he bridged the world of art and science, um, and he was a kind of Renaissance man uh, in that sense. Uh, and he was completely com committed to the discourse through all those years. So all these articles and Leonardo uh, I've used, um, and so I love his commentary right through uh, through the uh, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And so um, he's both uh, a practitioner. His fractal art was has become iconic. But he's also a theorist and a historian uh, and an advocate for the art science world, you know. So, uh, yeah, he, he's a bit of a giant in the area of uh, media arts history.